Hello everybody, I'm Crystal Snapdragon, back again with some more Crowfall. In the last video, we looked at character creation and I made a fey character, but I decided I wanted to go back and instead create a high elf confessor because confessors get to use fire magic and can do a pretty good amount of damage. So I remade my character and here's what I have right now. I'm still waiting for Frostweaver to come out. That's what I really want to play, but it's not out quite yet. So I just recreated my character. She looks absolutely gorgeous. And then we're gonna get into some gameplay and see what this game is about. If you haven't heard of this game or you're watching because you're interested in playing this game, it is a game that's highly geared towards PVP. So there are different campaigns in which there are throne wars. There are also some campaigns for the newer players. So we're gonna be playing in the God's Reach campaign, the Jovith server and this campaign should be pretty easy for newer players i believe pretty calm in the pvp department so everyone's gonna end up in this location here when they first get started and the tutorial is pretty nice so let's go ahead and see what they got i did start playing a little bit with my fey character and that's when I decided I'd rather make a confessor instead. The interface is pretty easy as well. Obviously, this is my inventory as well as my traits and attributes. My weapon is a book. Now, this game, while also being highly geared towards PvP, is a survival game. You do craft, you do cook, and you do have to eat, obviously. So in the beginning here, we're just going to be collecting items. <laughs> we're going to first start by hitting this tree with our hands because we're just that strong. Eventually we will be creating some basic um, tools in order to obtain these items a lot more efficiently. Also going to collect these mushrooms. So, so far with regards to this game, I think it's absolutely beautiful. It is very well done in the graphics department. I do have a few issues with regards to, while the tutorial is very nice and it is very helpful, you have to come upon the item first in order for the tutorial to get triggered. So the crafting tutorial isn't going to be triggered until you reach a crafting bench, for instance. And I feel like that's a little frustrating to me. There should be a more linear tutorial for newer players. Here's the crafting interface right here. We're going to begin by crafting our basic harvesting tools. Again, this game is a lot about PvP, but also about harvesting and crafting different items. And especially in the beginning when you're just starting out, it's heavily involving exploration and just gathering items. So we're going to use an axe to chop down the trees and also gather these mushrooms. Most of these basic harvesting items just take wood. And from what I can tell, you don't get any experience from crafting, at least not a detectable amount. And I believe that small circle is kind of like a skill check.
So I think the skill check, I believe it's kind of like a skill check, uh, makes it so that you don't run out of stamina as quickly and you can more efficiently gather the items. The crafting interface seems fairly intuitive, at least to begin with. So now we're going to try some basic cooking. It seems with regards to the crafting interface, a lot of different items have different components that you have to craft prior to being able to make them. So for instance, if you wanted to make a shish kebab, you'd have to make a roasting stick first. Makes sense. I do like that about the crafting interface. It seems to be a little more realistic. You can't just create a kebab out of nowhere. And like every survival game, whenever you want to harvest a particular item, you have a particular tool dedicated to that item. And if you harvest with the wrong tool, you're not harvesting efficiently. So a pick is used to harvest slag, and the hammer is used to harvest cobblestone. So far, I haven't had a crafting check fail. I don't think I've found any herbs yet for additives. See, this is what I mean. The tutorial doesn't pop up unless you hit the right thing to trigger it. And I just think it should be a little more linear. And as it stands, I haven't figured out how to cook or make items in bulk.
Hmm. Centaur. Now, I don't know if everybody has access to the same items in the same instance of the scavenging chest. So I hope I'm not just like taking everything out from under people. But you know, everybody for themselves. <laughs> I'd be the worst person to hang out with during an apocalypse. Let's go exploring. Hmm. Try out the combat here. So we have a survival tray, but we also have a combat tray. Right now I'm on the survival tray, but to get to the combat tray, you press U. This is all that I've learned when I played on my Fey character for five minutes. Looks like someone has already taken out most of the spiders. This game, though, is absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at it. I think they've spent a lot of time on the graphics itself. That's very fluid. I see something over there. And I think you travel from map to map via portal. From what I can tell, this game has mechanics when it comes to the map, sort of like this is going to be a weird analogy, but The Sims 4, right? The Sims 4 isn't an open world. So you travel from neighborhood to neighborhood, and all the houses, all the residents and commercial areas, they're put into a neighborhood, and then you travel from neighborhood to neighborhood. I believe this is kind of the same way. So you don't have neighborhoods, but you have separate maps. Each map is relatively small for what it is. Looks like we also have a talent tree. Armor of Flame.
And I think you get two talent points every time you level up. And three attribute points. Here's the spell book. Here's our portal. Let's go. Maybe. There we go. Ooh. Earth Temple. This must be a hub. Here are some other portals. Looks like we may be able to travel to different areas. I'm not sure why everybody has this 4G next to their, their name. Lots of people here. So at least we know that in development, a lot of people are playing this game. Here are the NPC stores. Vendors. Oof, man, it's expensive. I have literally no money. Well, this is already putting a hole in my bank account. Oh, I didn't do my attribute points just yet. Don't really need strength. Definitely want intelligence and probably constitution. Gotta up that health. That vigor. Well, this ain't that expensive. I have no money though. I wonder if these are player-made shops. Part of me thinks they are. Let's go out and see the world. Hmm. Again, the maps are gorgeous. And they are pretty big, but again, you just have a single area. 
and you use the portals to go to new areas. Pretty easy. I do like the combat. Oh look, money! Finally! Oh, I like getting money. I feel like it's going to take forever to get up to a lot, though. Maybe at some point you just start making bank, as is with every game. I do wish there was a way to sort the inventory. And it doesn't look like your health just regens out of combat. You probably need to add some sort of attribute to your character for that to occur. Or eat a particular type of food. Love the combat animations. Oh, and look, I leveled up. So I think the way it works is that you can add particular attributes to your character with these runes, which you add into discipline slots. I'm sure we'll figure it out in another video. Gonna increase that vigor again. Vigor is always the thing you increase at the beginning of any game. Gotta up that health. Oh no! Oh, retaliate. Okay. No idea what that is. More bandages.
this must be copper ore. Switch back to our survival tray. Nope, definitely want the pick. So pick is for ore. That makes sense. But man, is it taking forever. And I ran out of stamina. Come at you with that jump. Oop, leveled up. Whoop, whoop. Dexterity might help with PvP combat and critical hit chance. Ooh, I like this dodge mechanic a lot. Very acrobatic. Gonna skin this here, pig. Still kind of bad. Look how much hide and meat we're getting, though. Checking out the other moves. <laughs> wow. Gonna have to clean out this inventory eventually. Sacrifice item. Oh, right. You can sacrifice items and gain XP. So, theoretically, I should actually be looting everything that I find. Because I can sacrifice anything I can't use to get more XP. And this is the sacrificial brazier, Malachi. So we can sacrifice items that we don't need in order to get some XP. Some things say cannot be sacrificed, like food items. Some say that they're just junk and are basically just sacrifice items. And then you can sacrifice, I think, most of the crafting items if you don't want to keep them. 
so this seems like a good place to end this video. In the next video, we'll continue more gameplay, and hopefully I'll learn more about the mechanics of the game. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe for more, and turn on those notifications so that you know when I upload another video of Crowfall. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.